adding uh, about half a pound of butter or so into some whole milk. And then I'm gonna throw it in the uh, microwave for a minute, and let the butter get all melty. And after that, I'm going to use that mixture to proof my yeast along with some egg yolks and some sugar. Let's put the sugar inside the egg yolk. I'm going to kind of mix these together, everything nice and incorporated. Take the warm mixture and add it just a little bit at a time. And I'm going to add three quarters of an ounce of yeast in there. Get all of that stuff mixed up together nice and leave it alone. Walk away for about five minutes. There's nothing you can do to speed it up. You can see a little bit of foam on top of the, uh, the mixture here. That means that the yeast is activated and it started producing CO2, which is what makes your bread rise. So here I just have some regular old all-purpose flour. Uh, in here I have my little secret blend of spices and seasonings and everything else. That just goes straight in. And I'm just gonna mix all of this together. We're gonna take our butter and yeast and milk. Pour that in there. Now we're just going to stir it all up until it comes together and forms a dough. And we're going to get all of our dough out onto the board. Now we just have to knead our dough. I'm going to do this for about five or ten minutes. Take off another little chunk here. And that's just about right. Let's boil up a mixing bowl. Let's put the dough in the mixing bowl and then we're going to let that proof or uh, basically double in size. And that's going to take about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. I'm going to divide this into three equal pieces. Eyeball it and divide that into three equal portions. And this one you can kind of eyeball, it's not as important as the, the other. Now that I have my three equal portions. Just gonna start rolling them out into long snakes. And I usually try to roll them out to about the size of my cutting board. Works out nicely. Sometimes you can kind of loosen it up a little bit like that. Now we're going to start to form our king cake. I'm gonna do that. Just gonna lay one strand over the middle. That one goes over that, and I'm going to work from the middle out. I'm just going to take the middle, fold it over, and then go the other direction. And I'm just going to continue doing this all the way until I get to the end of my dough. Good tight braid on there too. All right, that's done. We're gonna get our sheet pan, and I'm just gonna pick the entire thing up, put it down. Flatten everything out. And this is going to go right back into the proofer until it doubles in size, about an hour or so. I have a couple that I've made earlier in the day. You can see it's doubled in size. And this one is going to go into the oven. It's going to stay in there for about 20-25 minutes uh, until it reaches an internal temperature of 200 degrees and then we'll pull it out and we'll let it cool down and then we can get into decorating. Okay, here we grab our baked king cake. 
and we'll put it onto our tooling rack. So there you go. Surrounded by air, all you have to do is wait. Our house uh, filling for this thing is a honey almond. So we'll we'll make a uh, fruit, uh, fruit flavor. First thing I'm going to do is I've got five ounces of water in a pot, and I'm going to sprinkle gelatin, two packages of gelatin over the top of it, and we'll uh, allow that gelatin to bloom. That was a nice, neat powder. Now that's going to thicken up, and that's actually going to turn into a semi-solid. While that's doing its thing, we'll set that over there. Here I've got eight ounces of uh, strawberry puree. I'm gonna put in a bowl. And we've let this chill and get up to a semi-solid state. Okay, now that our gelatin has bloomed, and you can see that it's, it's almost semi-solid, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put that over some heat and return this to a liquid. While that's doing that, I've already got uh, 12 ounces of cream and an ounce and a half of sugar in here. All right, now we've turned that gelatin back into a liquid, and then we're gonna add it directly into that strawberry, our strawberry mixture. Now this has to chill and set, or semi-set. And I've got a nice big old walk-in back here that stays at about 34 degrees. This won't, but it won't take but a few minutes. If you were at home, and you had another larger bowl, you could put ice in the bottom of it, set this on top of it, and stir it constantly for about three to five minutes, and it'll turn into uh, a semi-solid, and we'll take it from there. Now we're gonna add that wonderful whipped cream. And there we go. King cake is baked, it's cooled, now we're going to uh, fill it and decorate it and send it on out the door. So we're just going to slice this in half. Right through here. One more little spot. Now that's nice. It's pretty tasty. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the knife at about a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to make a couple cuts. And then I'm just going to take this out, and we're going to call this lunch later. Well, this is a little different filling. I made something different because I wanted to, and it's my kitchen. This, <laughs> this is the honey almond. This is the one I highly recommend. Might as well use it all up there and enough there to write home to mom about. I'm just going to slip right up underneath here. Pick this up. Right back on top. Okay. Now this is the fun part. We're just gonna. This is a simple syrup. Simple meaning it's one part water, two parts sugar. So two cups of sugar to one cup of water. Can't make that any simpler. And we're just gonna brush that on. And because green's handy, we're gonna start with that. I prefer using this. It's a coarse grain sanding sugar because I like the way it looks. It doesn't run and it gives it just enough sweetness but not overpowering. All right, now it's time to hide some of the goodies. So I'll put a couple, well, they're supposed to be the balloons. They look, kind of look like quarters. These are edible. Yeah, one there, one there. I'll twist up some beads and put it on there. Nothing real fancy. That kind of clashes with my mustache, but it works. And there we go. Last but not least, the baby. We're just going to set him right in here, just like that. Our king cake is done. Thank you very much.